Hello guys, welcome back to the Dragon's Chrome Fighters gameplay part 2. Um, sorry, so uh, I, ex I accidentally deleted about 5 minutes of you recording before this clip. Underground labyrinth so uh, so let's just uh, do a brief recap first. So at the end of last part, we reclaimed the Royal Scepter. And then after returning it to the castle, a mysterious being showed up. And then he wanted to take over the Royal Scepter. Um, but the uh, the merchant of the Venice, oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, the the prime minister and then the princess uh, showed up and then stopped the count. So we uh, finished the quest uh, successfully, and then the fairy we just uh, saved from last quest showed up, and then the fairy asked us to find a magician called uh, Luke. So now we are on the uh, our quest to find the magician Luke Kane, and then uh, Amazon and then sorcerers joined the party. It is a dangerous place. Repeat with traps. It bars entry to all who would dare. <laughs> Shiny points at, um, uh, on the screen. Don't, uh, don't let them uh, get away. Out of the blue, a mouse darts out and leaps onto your palm. The rodent claims to be the apprentice of Wallace the Magician. He says he was tasked with caring for the laboratory while Wallace was gone, but it is beset by malevolent magic users. When you ask about Lucane, the apprentice answers that his master's friend went into the labyrinth and hasn't returned. Your quest to find Lucane is delayed as you attempt to liberate the lab for Ricky the Magician's apprentice. The door to the laboratory is so through this So we just have found a mouth and then he is the uh, uh, apprentice of the Magician. So we have to keep on yes. over um, uh, quest. So this is another room. Then we can resurrect it later in the temple. Okay, so nothing else left, so let's uh, keep going. Simple. So just uh, one thing to mention, the main storyline is uh, uh, always uh, from uh, going from left to right, and then if you see any gate or door showing up in the middle of the screen, that that is a uh, treasure room. So if you open that door and then go in there, you will find a few uh, treasure chests in it, and then probably with uh, several uh, strong enemies. So let's go into the treasure room first. Enemy. Okay, so here are the enemies, and then, oh, come on, where's, where's are the, uh, treasures? So there's a no treasure chest here? Really? So, uh, anything special? on the blocks on the floor um let's see 
uh, didn't see anything. Just you, you step on it, that uh, block's going down. Um, yeah, I don't know. So let's just go for now. I got it! Because the laboratory was being misused, here it is. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mushrooms, and then keep fighting these mushrooms. Okay, so cool. This and then the Amazon takes up high. So, uh, what about the sorcerers? Okay, take that fruit. Please take that fruit. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Take that fruit. Alright, so, uh, um, alright, so I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna take all the food it later. Here we go. So we finally reach to fighting the boss, Blue Beetle. Oh, come on! So there are 1,000 places I can uh, stand on, so it's just uh, standing in the way of the Blending. Before they march, uh, <laughs> 
Oh, come on. What am I doing? So, uh... Destroy those cocoons. Oh, it's too late. So, uh, there's another one spawned. Uh, this is one recommendation. Destroy the cocoon as soon as possible. So, no matter what, it's happening. So, otherwise, it will make the whole puzzle much harder. <laughs> Fight the cocoon and then destroy it before a spawn uh, new goon beetle. Oh, there's another one here. Uh, where's my weapon? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Some bones that seem to belong we got to the uh, treasure in the depths feet. of the labyrinth. All right, so uh, the tattered remnants and jewelry leave no doubt. You bring back the bones of the magician. Up, up, we uh, bring back the bones of the magicians. You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy... What troubles you, my child? Oh, uh, the bone pile we Allow just saved is another sorceress. Okay, so let's uh, resurrect her. Uh, what about the magician? So, uh, where's, where's him? You found Lucane, but he was dead. Sorceress Erica join our team. You found Lucane, but he was dead. <laughs> you imagine the f you found Lucane. And now let's head he back dead. to the tower. You imagine the fairy will be over. Fairy. When you enter the laboratory, the fairy frantically flits around you, as if it senses your uneasiness. Upon seeing Lucane's bones, the fairy enters into a panic. She begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. The fairy is apparently attempting to lead you somewhere. 
You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. Oh yeah, it's, of course it's gonna be the temple to resurrect the magician. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help. A monk says, you nervously hand the monk the bones of Luke. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering, reverse death, and awaken. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones. Lucane, shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower in town. You decide to see him to ask more details. The magician okay, so now we have the magician who came back and the tower's name on turned his to Lucane's tower. Lucane can't remember why he went to meet. Lucane is researching magic called runes, which are closely tied to spirits and fairies. Lucane introduces his fairy friend to you. Her name is Tiki. She left the fairy forest due to her strong curiosity. He thanks you again for saving him and allowing him to enjoy life's rich pageant. He displays his magic trinkets. Lucane says he'd be happy to sell you these items at a fraction of the normal price and answer any questions you have. What will you ask? The magician Wallace was an old friend of Lucane's. He was known as a great magician. He sealed that group, or myopia of cyclopes, in a labyrinth and saved the land. He also mentored young magicians in his tower. He was also the king's trusted advisor. And Lucane trails off. It seems that Lucane's memory has failed him again. Before you realize it, Tiki is following you around. She seems to have taken a liking. She okay, so from you now on, the forth. fairy Tiki joins our to be campaign. At finding hidden things. A letter from the castle has come to you via the guild. It simply says to report to the castle in all haste. Hmm. You assume that the letter was sent by the Prime Minister. Perhaps he has another request for you. Count D oh, it's this uh, mysterious Count Dean again. He who sent the letter. After your previous encounter, you can only assume that he's up to something nefarious. You brace for combat. The guards have drawn their swords and are blocking the exit. Count Dean starts talking to you in a soft voice. He says that he has personally requested your assistance in performing a task for him. He wants you to scout Bilberon Fortress on the border. This underground fortress is a well-known structure. Originally built to defend against the Orc army, it now lies in Orc hands. Scout them and learn their inv- It is a very dangerous mission, but refusal means that you will be at the mercy of Dean's guards. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress at the country's border. The Orc army presently controls Bilberon, the underground fortress built into the canyon. The king's army has been mounting a fierce offensive to try and reclaim the fortress. Okay, so let's get into the castle. 
It's my turn. Okay, so uh, these hawks are fairly easy. So just uh, keep fighting them, and they will just uh, keep uh, stunned, and then they will not fight back. <laughs> Oh my! You step into the enemy kitchen. A corpulent chef grabs a goblin instead of meat and suddenly stops. The cook, sensing your presence, stares oh, directly uh, at you. Oh, scary one. So uh, we are gonna so keen, fight so this chef. Eventually, uh, let's chef find out. To her meat cutting. You use the goblin's screams to mask your escape. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I just realized I forgot to uh, equip the weapons and then some uh, equipment we got from the last quest. Sorcerers here are uh, really helpful. So they just attack in range and then they will stun the enemy first, and then the fighter will just uh, go up and then, and then kill them. Oh, there are really a lot of uh, bones inside the castle. <laughs> Oh, 
filthy lucre. I got it. Done. Hmm. There are really a lot of stuff here. Uh, two piles of bones and then one treasure chest and then some other uh, shiny spots. Okay, so uh, let's go. What? happened why everybody's dying uh everybody's on fire so what happened oh oh so uh yeah so uh don't break those uh barrels there are uh, oils in it and then uh it will cause the fire at the bottom of the stairs is an area connected to the sewers this seems your most likely escape route Gonna take all the food this time. <laughs> what? And uh, we are gonna fight the minute four this time. <laughs> Minotaur is really, really strong. It looks like you cannot stun him. And uh, our Amazon just died. Uh, you have uh, one minute to revive your ally by uh, paying some money. Sorcerers cost less than the Amazon, I guess, because her level is uh, lower than the Amazon. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
prioritize that as well. And then she is gonna cost 150. She costs the most because her level is highest. <laughs> This time costs much more to revive her, and um, at this point, you don't even care about those money. <laughs> Sixty-six coins. This barely, just barely covers the money we lose for reviving all of her um, allies. Among the treasures you claimed is the great sword of the hero Javelin. You succeeded in acquiring intel on the underground fortress. This job will be completed once you report to Count D. Uh, ow. Oh. Acquiring intel okay, on the so underground let's go fortress. Back to the castle. This job will be completed once you report. You report everything you learned to Count D. Unfortunately, you up naturally he demands the great sword. But at least he's in a good mood now. He thought you'd just flee, but you didn't. It seems that he thinks much more highly of you now. Dean confides in you some of the problems in the castle. Once the king went missing, the Prime Minister began recommending the Archduke McNeil of Bulger to the throne. Bulger is an aggressive nation to the north. McNeil is related to the King of Hydland and has a legal claim to the throne. Count Dean claims that McNeil has been rallying nobles in Hydland to support his claim to the throne. That's why Dean hired Tomit to steal the scepter. He says that Tomit is extremely trustworthy, so long as he is paid. Suddenly, the Prime Minister and the Princess appear. Oh, really? It seems so, uh, this time watched. the... Merchant. The oh, the Prime Minister turns to the be the bad guy. Not to oh, really? Any further. The Princess, as usual, looks back with blank eyes. Oh, the Princess must be poisoned or something. Since you completed the okay, job so the uh, that's all for Cut 2. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for further gameplays. Bye-bye.